What's up guys, this is Jay and this is my first video tutorial for Game Maker Studio. Um, it's just a simple, oh, okay, I wouldn't say simple um, tutorial, it's quite a it's quite a visually pleasing tutorial for the main menu because I mean everyone needs a main menu, everyone needs a good looking main menu so I actually I've used this in my own game because I love it so much and let me just show you what it does so instead of your normal traditional you scroll over and it changes color it still does that but now you got a nice little grow effect so when you scroll over it slowly grows and when you off then it recedes back to its normal size so yeah looks pretty nice so let's get started so what I've done already is I've just added three options well three main menu options so you got your play you've got your options and you got your quit so three buttons I'm not going to do any more than that and then I've just done a little cursor um, and the main menu it's not it's not a button it's just so I can put it in the main menu because I'm too lazy to make it a background um, also in in the main menu buttons you want to have two images so you want to have one different a different color than the other one so I'm going to go with red and green and an easy way to do it is just import your button from wherever and then you just go add reverse and then you just colorize it and voila okay but you must have two um, separate colors any colors you want so let me just rename this let's quit okay okay guys so once you have your menus menu buttons in with the two colors then what you want to do is we want to start okay I've only got two objects I've got the cursor because we're not going to be using the in-game in-game cursor um, I suppose you can use the in-game cursor if you really want to no I do not want to play counter-strike sorry guys <laughs> okay so this is just the code so it follows the mouse um, you don't really the code will work with the mouse because we are coding it with uh, with the mouse property so it's fine um, and then this is just the main menu I haven't even bothered naming it um, and then my room is just the main menu and the cursor so that's it for now so hopefully you guys you guys have your main menu stuff ready and so we can get started okay so let's start with the play button so object play okay so now first things first we're going to have to make create because there are two there are two images in the place we've got the red and the green so we don't want it to flash so simple coding image speed equals zero image index equals zero and we're not going to be working with alphas um, Should we? Shouldn't we? No, it's fine. We'll leave image alpha for another time. Basically, image alpha is just when you run over it, it fades a little bit, so it looks it looks a uh, bit nicer. If especially if you got like a nice um, main menu background, then when you're going over, it adds a little nice effect. Fades a bit when you go over, and then fades back. Um, to full alpha when it's when you're not on it um okay anyway stop let me stop rambling step and drag in a code so first things first we got to check if the mouse is touching the button now i know this you shouldn't really be doing this in step but f for what we want we need to do it in step so if distance 
to point mouse and slash x comma mouse and slash y y is smaller or equal to zero open bracket now we've got to check another thing so if image I explain to you everything once I've coded it if image x scale is smaller than one point let's go for one point three I'll tell you what that is now um, open close brackets image x scale plus equals 0.01 just to make life simple image y scale equals image x scale and we can close this off okay so what's what what this is doing right okay so this is checking if the mouse is over the button if it is it's going to check that is the image x scale smaller than 1.3 because 1 1.3 is what we wanted to grow what we wanted to grow to um, when our mouse runs over it so now if it's if it's not then image uh, x scale will plus by 0 0.01 so it will grow very it won't grow slowly especially if you're working with a 60 speed room which is 60 frames per second which I suggest you do because um, 30 frames per second doesn't really uh, I never use 30 frames per second but that's just me so it's going to grow by 0 0.01 it's going to grow forever but we'll fix that now okay so next thing okay so now, now I need an else so now the else is when the mouse is no longer um, touching the button so else if image x scale is greater than 1 so now as f if it's greater than 1 then image so now we want it to shrink so minus equals 0.01 so we want it to grow at 0.01 and we want it to shrink at 0.01 you can change these numbers to whatever you your personal preference is um, and then the same for the y y scale um, okay we can close those off and now what we need to do is we need because right now they're going to just they're going to grow forever and we we don't want that so what we want to do now is if image x scale is greater or equal to 1.3 which is what we wanted to grow to we don't want it to grow past that so if it has reached that point then all we've got to do is say image x scale equals 1.3 so if it is bigger or equal to 1.3 it will just equal 1.3 it won't go past 1.3 and grow to the size of eternity without this code that is what will happen and then an image x scale equals image y scale y scale I hate it when it doesn't auto pick the code for me um, okay I suppose we can test this see if it works sorry if I sound Flemish guys <coughs> it's winter here and I'm slowly, slowly, slowly starting to get sick. 
Okay, um, if you have used your own mouse, just make sure that your depth is like at least minus 90. And let's add the button into the room. I'm just going to add the same button multiple times just to just to see what it looks like. Hopefully everything works. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's growing a little bit big. So maybe we can make it 1.2. Yeah, let's make it 1.2 real quick. So instead of 1.3, 1.2, 1 1.2, and we can even make it grow a little bit faster. Um, well, we can make it shrink faster, actually. I think we can keep it growing at the same speed. 1.2. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly see what that looks like now. So guys, it's a lot of playing around to get it look to look really nice. Let's change this back to 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Um, okay, well, I'm sure they'll look nice. Let us just quickly do the mouse enter image index equals one so now when the mouse is over it's going to change to the second image which is the green image or whatever color you guys chose and then image speed equals zero and then we can just copy that or we can just do it like this duplicate mouse leave and index equals zero okay let us see oh let's just do this quick. So there's options. Ugh. Options. Okay. Okay. Whatever. And what do we do? We have quit. Okay. So now let's just add that into the room. and quits and let's see how that looks awesome so there we have it guys I'd say that looks pretty nice if you are experienced with Game Maker you can play around with this and make it even better obviously you can add some like beeps so beeps when you go over it um yeah well i hope you guys enjoyed and if you learned something or even if you didn't there are going to be more videos that i'm going to be uploading so um please like and subscribe and comment down below if you if this did help you. That will be good feedback for me. Thanks guys. Bye.